Artificial intelligence helps discover hundreds of unknown geoglyphs on the plateau of the Nazca Plateau. Analysis of aerial photographs of the Nazca Plateau made of the use of artificial intelligence has resulted in the discovery of more the previously unknown geoglyphs. In total, 303 new drawings were identified. Researchers under the direction of archaeologist Masato Sakai from Yamagata University in Japan trains artificial intelligence algorithms to identification of geology glyphs from high-resolution images taken by drones. The program identified 1,309 possible geoglyphs and a team of scientists he confirmed 303 of them in the field studies. Results and description of the work appeared in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Huge geometric figures, likes of monkeys, fish, spiders, and other animals up to hundreds of meters long, in all its glory are visible only after it rises in the air. There are hundreds of them on the Nazca Plateau. Those huge drawings located in the desert in the southwestern part of Peru are the world's most famous example of geoglyphs. Another 303 geoglyphs were discovered by archaeologists from Japanese University of Yamagata. Scientists from this university have been running for years tests for the Nazca Plateau. Thanks to their work over the years, we have known hundreds of drawings. Artificial intelligence has previously helped Japanese scholars in the research. In 2019, during analysis of aerial images, she found over 140 the unknown drawings. Three years later, the algorithms made further discoveries. With this they found nearly 170 previously unknown geoglyphs. Most of the new glyphs depict characters humanoid, the heads themselves, various domestic animals, in particular llamas. They are also drawings of wild animals, birds, monkeys, or cats. They also discovered depicting probable official scenes and people's interactions with animals. The most bizarre geog life is 22-meter drawing depicting a fish or a pouring fire armed with a knife. On some ceramic products from the Nazca period they find scenes depicting orcas with knives cutting off human heads, he says the Masato Sakai. So we can recognize orcas as being sacrificed from humans he adds. Most geoglyphs were located so that they could be admire the trails running in the area. Artificial intelligence has made it much easier to discover. Identification of new geoglyphs took only six months and it almost doubled the number of known geoglyphs in the region. Geoglyphs are located in an area of about 440 kilometers the square Peruvian desert of Sichura. Ancient works of art have been probably created between 200 BC and 500 AD by members pre incasian civilization known as Nazca, who removed the upper layers stones from the desert, revealing fragments of lighter soil. In this way they formed different shapes, creating images of people or animals. Most geoglyphs have been identified within a time the last 20 years. All thanks to the progress in satellite imaging. However, however, the pace of discovering new geoglyphs began to slow down, because the other still unexplored geoglyphs have probably been affected by erosion and human eye did not he can see them. But artificial intelligence is great with that he advises. Trained by Japanese researchers artificial model intelligence can find even barely noticeable shapes and does it much faster than people. The program has generated a list of candidates for new geoglyphs to be studied by scientists, including those in places where never they had not been found before. Between September 2022 and February 2023 scientists visited some of these sites and confirmed that 303 the drawings identified by algorithms exist in reality. Scientists split the drawings from Nazca into larger geoglyphs linear, created by the removal of stones and reddish, iron-rich gravel, revealing a lighter substrate underneath and smaller geoglyphs relief, created by setting up stones next to each other. Most of these the first depicts wild animals such as birds and whales. On the other hand the smaller ones are usually images of people and livestock. For relief geoglyphs, they can be seen walking the trails. Therefore, we believe that the trails were created to people could admire the geoglyphs during the walk, Sakai explained. From the other pages, in the case of linear geoglyphs, they are concentrated around points initial and final networks. This network is connected to the center's ceremonial Kawaki and holy places, 
so we think people they walked along the net, he added. Kawaki is the largest cultural center of Nazca. The city occupies area 24 square kilometers and within it is more than 40 the temples. Researchers believe it was not permanently inhabited, but rather had character of the ceremonial center. During Christmas, as Sakai points out, people they made pilgrimages to Kawaki just on the trails from which they could admire the geoglyphs. Geoglyphs were discovered in 1926. Initially, they were taken for the irrigation systems. Then for sacred paths of a religious nature, but in fact, modern science does not know for what purpose they were created. There is a lot of speculation about why people they put a lot of effort into creating these giant sculptures. Especially since they can only be seen from the air. Some scholars theorize that they may have they help with travel or have some astronomical significance. There is also a group of researchers who think geoglyphs were works of art made for the gods in the heavens. Previously, researchers thought it could have been types of pitches for games where sports competitions or trade routes were played. There were also concepts emphasizing their relationship with observations astronomical, because some of the geoglyphs reflect the constellations. To be can be used to determine the seasons and harvests, because some of they point to the sunrise and sunset points during the autumn and spring equinounds and summer solstice. The famous geoglyphs were created by the Nazca Indians. However, researchers believe that some are centuries older than the most famous of these wonderful drawings and can be the work of representatives Prankayan culture of Paracas, who have lived in those areas from about 800 to 500 PNE to 200 NE scientists believe Nazca Indians inhabited the area previously occupied by the culture of Paracas. The existence of representatives the culture of the Nazis is estimated to be between the 1st and 8th centuries AD. Lines, images of animals or geometric patterns are from decades a source of fascination. Expanding in a vast area desert, between the cities of Nazca and Palpa. Previous geoglyphs created by the culture of Paracas was located on the slopes of the mountains. It allowed to see them from surface without the need to rise in the air. According to the archaeologists, drawings of older culture are much more likely to depict people, in contrast to geometric shapes and lines created by Nazca Indians. Scientists and scientists they also pointed to the existence of another culture, which also created the geoglyphs. This is called the Topa culture. However, little is known about her. Researchers they placed it in the time interval between the culture of Paracas and Nazca. Artificial intelligence trained by the Japanese it identified much more potential candidates for geogrids, however the team had no time to assess everyone in a recent study. Scholars and scholars they estimate that in the next few years they will be able to find about 250 more geoglyphs when they visit the place indicated by the algorithms.